King Barbecue here talking about evil movie reviews. There's a movie I quite enjoy called The Thing. Not you, Thing. You go on your way. The Thing from Another World. Now, this has been remade a couple of times, and I actually enjoy the remakes very much. Especially the one by John Carpenter, but it's a completely different film. This one takes place in the North Pole, okay? Creepy atmosphere. And an alien lands in the ice, and then they have the Air Force go with some scientists, and they use thermite bombs, blow up the freaking UFO. Standard operating procedure, but the alien survives. They take him out of the ice in a block, take him back, throw some heated blankets on him because they think he's cold. He thaws out, goes on a killing spree. He's made pot vegetables, so he needs plasma in order to bring about the apocalypse by spawning all kinds of other vegetable alien carrot men. And they have the great scenes between Captain Henry and his woman. And what happened between them is not really spelled out, but it's insinuated that maybe there was a little <coughs> And then they have have the thing running around and where is he? Is he in the greenhouse and he killing people, hang them upside down so he can drain them of their blood and make more food for his unholy alien vegetable army? Like, what do you do with a vegetable, right? Well, you could eat it, dumbasses. But also what you could do is you could like cook it, stew it, fry it, bake it, broil it. And they go, that gives me an idea. Let's light this some bitch on fire. And then they see, oh my goodness, he's coming on the Geiger counter because he's got radioactivity vegetables. And then he shows up and they, they, they throw kerosene on him, light on fire, and he hits this guy and he hits that gal and jumps out the window and he runs. Arr! But it's a really epic scene. And then they realize, you know what, he's just going to heal himself and come back. And then you know what the thing does? Turn off the heat. Holy crap. Then the North Pole, how are they going to get by without the heat? And then it starts getting down in temperature. So the thing is like, okay, I'll freeze them out and come get them. What they do is they say, well, we're going to insulate some poles and then we're going to lure him to us. If he turn off the heat, he probably turn off electricity next. So we got to go back to the generator room. And oh, he's pretty smart because he can fly a UFO and crash that shit. So it's like, I'm going to start here. He'll see us when he opens the door to the generator room. Then we'll back up, lead him to us, and then we catch him in electricity and a bird! And whereas in Frankenstein, electricity brings him alive, this one just fry! Fry dead! And then I think they had some, uh, quiche that night. And it has some of the best, most witted dialogue, and it's a really excellent movie with some good scares. And I think that if you haven't seen The Thing from Another World, you are certainly missing out on a quality, classic piece of horror cinema. It has one of the all-time ending chiller lines, too, when he goes, Keep watching the skies! Keep watching the skies! And I'll... Is there a spider on my scene? Hey! Oh!